hungry. Food, yummy. Oh, I'm full. Who's gonna eat all this food? Hmm, I should throw them away. Did you just throw that away? Eh? But I just... Do you know the effects of tasting food? Uh, no, but then I don't care. Tasting food will lead to increased greenhouse gases, deforestation, and land pollution. Landfills, where our food waste ends up, are taking up large amount of land and polluting any soil or water in the area. It's important to note that Pula Semakau is the only landfill site in Singapore. With such significant rise in food wastage, Singapore will have to search for more or even sacrifice some of its precious lands that will eventually destroy. When food is discarded and broken down into landfills, it produces carbon dioxide but it's also the leading contributor of methane in the atmosphere. Methane is a greenhouse gas that is 25 times stronger than carbon dioxide at trapping heat in the atmosphere, and it is also a product of landfills as well as livestock. For every kg of food waste thrown into the landfills, 3.8 kg of greenhouse gases are emitted. Food is estimated to produce 135 million tons of greenhouse gases annually, causing significant impacts on the climate change. Deforestation. Agriculture accounts for 74% of the total annual deforestation around the globe and is the leading factor to why we are losing so many of our precious forests and the biodiversity that they contain. In order to meet the increasing demand for food, large hectares of forests have been cleared to provide more land for agricultural use. Yet, 40% of this food becomes waste and are never eaten. After the years, as population increases, the amount of land needed for our agriculture has will increase as well, leading to deforestation. If we don't leave our food behind, we may not need to clear more forests for our agriculture. But because of our food wastage, we have indirectly caused the deforestation and the loss of biodiversity in our world. But we can take steps towards mitigating food wastage. We can start by characterizing our food waste to see where the wastage is coming from. From there on, we can actively ban our meals and cut down on purchasing items that we do not consume. Besides that, by separating the food from other waste, we can more easily turn the food into biofuel or compost. For wholesalers, we can set a common standard for use by dates. These standards can be vetted by a food bank organization so there will be less food that are being thrown out due to us being overly cautious. Last but not least, Food that can still be consumed should go to hungry mouths and not trash cans. We can do this by encouraging more food outlets to participate in food donation, where the unsold food can be collected, repackaged, and given to feed the needy.